so hello welcome back and today i finally made the video that you have been asking for so long ema versus sma what is the better moving average what is the right setting and how do you use moving averages so let's get into this video and before we get into the charts let's take a look at a few general information EMA stands for exponential moving average. It moves much quicker than the SMA, which is a simple moving average. Why is that so? It's because the EMA puts more weight on the most recent candles and on the most recent price action. So the EMA will naturally adjust a little bit quicker to changes in price, which can be good, which can be bad. It depends on how you use it and we're going to address it uh, shortly. However, the difference uh, between EMA and SMA is generally minor, as we can see here. So I have plotted the A SMA and the EMA 50 on this chart. And you can see the market is in an uptrend here, a very clear trend. And you can see the moving averages are very, very close together. So it's important and a first important observation to understand that it's not a huge difference between EMAs and SMAs, as we will see shortly more and more. Now we are looking at a range market and when the market is moving sideways, the moving average, as the name suggests, is in the middle of the price action because it is the average and when the price action is moving sideways, the average will be in the middle of the price action. So another important thing is that moving averages are generally considered trend following tools and therefore they work best during trends and they don't work as well or I would not recommend using them at all during sideways range markets. The key principles for moving averages but more or less for all tools and indicators is that there is no better or worse MA or setting. We will get to this in a bit and it means that nothing works 100% of the time. This is one of the most important principles that you must understand as a trader. There's no magic setting, there's no magic moving average, there's no magic time frame. This is one of the most important principles. And if you still believe that you must find the right moving average, the right setting, the right time frame, you are going to struggle forever as a trader. You will never become a consistently profitable trader because you're focusing on the wrong things. It is very important, this last statement, you need to ingrain it and tattoo it on your forehead or whatever you do. Just never, never forget it. Learn to deal with imperfection. I said it so many times, don't try to find something that works 100% of the time. You will never find it and you will just be frustrated all the time. And instead, cut losses, let winners run. Learn to cut losses, learn to let winners run, which is way, way more important then finding or trying to find something that works all the time. You will never find it. You will jump from moving average to moving average, from time frame to time frame, and you will always be just chasing your own tail. One of the most important things that you have to understand as a trader. Sometimes the EMA will work, sometimes the SMA will work. In this example, I plotted the SMA and the EMA 50 on your charts. You can see the, the EMA moves a little bit quicker, it, it adjusts a little bit quicker. So the EMA is the green line, the SMA is the blue line. It moves a little bit or it changes a little bit slower. However, you can see sometimes the EMA will work, sometimes the price action will re react to the SMA. And this is true for everything in trading, for all indicators and all settings. However, there's a way out as you will see, but again, I can't stress this enough. This is one of the most important principles that you can ever learn as a trader. Learn to deal with imperfection. Learn to deal with losses. This is one of the most important things. Learn to cut losses, learn to cut losses, learn to cut losses. Really, really, really important. So what is the best period? We will get into this. So first of all, the period that you're using and that you're choosing for your trading and must serve the purpose for what you are intending it to use. So generally, when it comes to moving averages and settings, we as traders did distinguish between three different categories, low, medium and long term. Low is for quick decision making. It is always changing. So if you use a 9 or a 20 period SMA or EMA, you will see that it changes all the time very, very quickly, which can be good, which can be bad. It depends on what you're going to use it and how you're going to use it. 
On the other end of the spectrum is the high setting, which is generally considered a 100 period or above 200, 250, 300, whatever. However, you don't need to get creative. The self-fulfilling prophecy is real in moving averages and in other areas as well. So use the big round numbers that are used by many traders, that are used by hedge funds, by algos. Don't get creative. Don't try to suddenly test the 45 or the 52 or the 55 or whatever. Stick to the broad numbers, stick to the round big numbers. They work really well for most of the time, which is very important. So here you can see I plotted all three categories on one chart, the 20, the 100 and the 50. So you have a, a slow, a medium and a long term and you can see the red one is changing very, very slowly. It is the long term 100 period moving average. Then we have the blue one, which is the medium term 50 moving average. And we have the green 20 period, which is a quick moving average. You can see when the trend in price action turns. The, the slow moving or the quick moving average, the 20 will change at first, then the 50 and then the 100 will change way, way, way uh, later. So much, much later. And again, there's nothing wrong or right. It really depends on what type of trader you want to be. You want to get in and out of trades very, very quickly or do you want to ride trends for a long time? And it is how you then choose the, the setting. My tip, my approach and something that I have been using, Moritz has been using, and that we generally teach to our masterclass students is settle for one or two moving averages. Don't try to, to get too creative. Most importantly, don't change your moving average setting all, all the time. Really, really stick to it. Don't change it for the next 100 or 200 trades. So start with the 50 period EMA and don't change it for at least 100 or 200 trades. And don't get frustrated when it doesn't work out. Instead, try to analyze when it doesn't work, when does it work, how do you let winners run, and how do you cut profits, uh, how do you cut losses. And don't obsess so much about entry timing. Look at everything else that's going to change your trading in such a deep and profound way. So here are a few practical examples of how we use the moving averages. And you can see I have plotted the, the daily um, 50 moving average. In trading view, you can just type in exponential moving average. And then when you go to the settings, you can choose the source. Um, and then you can choose the different time frames. So I plotted the daily 50 here on the chart. It's the blue line. It is from the daily time frame. And then I have the 50 period moving average from the specific time frame. In this case, it's the one hour. And what you're going to do is you use the long term moving average, the blue line, to understand the general direction of the market. So when the price action is, is above the blue line, you are generally looking at a long term bullish market. And this means that in the long term bullish market, the, the bullish moves, they work much, much better, obviously. You can see when we look at this first phase, the bullish move is very smooth. You can see the, the price rises very quickly over a short period of time. There's no violation of the moving average, which is an important factor because it shows that the volatility is moderate and the trend rises rather quickly. However, here on the right hand side, we see a very different picture. The price is still in the long term uptrend because it's above the daily moving average. But here the price dips below the short term moving average. So we have we have a we have a clash here between long term and short term, long term uptrend, short term downtrend. And you can see the price action is very different. You can see the volatility increases. The, mo the price actually breaks the short term moving average quite a bit and quite often, which makes it harder for you to stay in long term trends. So this can be a first great filter, have a long term and have a short term moving average or a bigger picture, shorter picture, moving average, and then try to align the short term and the long term view. Also, another important factor is that look for big changes in a price action chart. Look for the situations when both long term and short term uh, situation match. So what we have here is, again, we have the daily and the short term one hour period moving average. And you can see that here is the point where the price action dips below the short term and below the long term moving average. So those are usually 
the origins of new trending phases and those origins are generally or can often be great ways to get into long-term trades uh, trends very very early on for a good reward to risk ratio so you can see here we have a smooth ride rather smooth ride uh, once the short term and the long term period they match we have both now a short bias and you can see the market uh, moves lower very very effortlessly without a lot of volatility and then you can see here it shifts into the opposite direction the price action is above the long term and above the short term so we have long term and short term uptrend and you can see the market moves up very very quickly as well initially here we have the tunnel which is a, a very good uh, tool to have or it's basically it's two moving averages both have the 50 period moving average and when you go to the settings one is applied to the high and one is applied to the low and this creates a tunnel so those those moving averages they will never crisscross each other there's no not going to be a crossover between the moving average it's just a, a tunnel that is moving along with your charts and with your price and this is a great tool especially for new or inexperienced traders or traders that struggle with staying into in trends and the tunnel you can see during a, 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 tr a strong trend the the tunnel will often act as support and resistance you can use it as a way to find uh, pullback trades and to also stay in trades with a lot of confidence so this may help you you can see on the downside the moving averages or the price action writes the moving average tunnel here for quite a while until here it cuts through the moving average and this also marks the turning point when the price action then uh, completely turns into bullish trend so you can see there are many ways how you can use the moving average just don't overcomplicate it listen to and repeat um, or remind yourself about the the key concepts that i talked to you about pick one or two moving averages don't change them for the next 100 to 200 trades don't try to find something that works 100% of the time. You will never find that. This is one promise that I can almost guarantee you. Well, I can guarantee you that for sure. Instead, look at ways how you can optimize your trades. Learn to ride winners. Learn to cut losses. And this is how you then create a profitable trading strategy without obsessing and without all the frustration that most of the amateur traders will go through. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel and you will hear from me very soon.